Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. We are talking all about vitamin A today. Retinoids, retinoic acid. I'm gonna share with you guys all the differences between those different names. Vitamin A gets so confusing, and I know I get asked about vitamin A and the differences between products and names all the time. So I'm gonna talk all about vitamin A today, and I'm gonna share with you my personal favorites and just how they convert in our skin. So hopefully it gives you guys a better understanding of how they work and what option is going to be best for you, because there is a lot of options out there. All right, so before I get started, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and let's get started. Okay, so as we all know, vitamin A is a must have ingredient in our skincare routine. There's three, I would say four possibly must have skincare ingredients. Vitamin A is definitely one of them. If you are into anti-aging, if you are really looking to fully take advantage of your skincare routine, then you have to include a vitamin A product in your routine every single day. They are going to overturn the skin cells. They are going to thicken the skin. They are going to stimulate collagen and elasticity in your skin. It is definitely one of the most clinically researched skincare ingredients out there. It produces results. It works and you all need to be using a vitamin A. If you're like 20 years old and beyond, you absolutely should be using it in your skincare routine daily. So there are a couple different forms of vitamin A like I mentioned and I'm gonna kind of go through each one. So when you hear the word retinoids, that is kind of like the umbrella term for all vitamin A products. And the vitamin A terms that you're gonna most likely hear are the retinol esters, retinol, retinaldehyde, and then retinoic acid. Those are the most like well-known names in vitamin A. So all vitamin A's that are not retinoic acid, retinoic acid is the purest form of vitamin A, and that's gonna be your prescription strength, your retin-A. That is retinoic acid. So all other forms of vitamin A are going to go through a conversion process in your skin cells, and they convert through enzymes in your skin. So the lowest level, which is gonna take three conversions in your skin, is going to be the retinol esters. They are your mildest forms of vitamin a and they are going to take three conversions in your skin cells to get to that pure retinoic acid and what those conversions are are they start with the retinol esters then they go to retinol in your skin cells and then they convert to retinaldehyde and then retinaldehyde converts directly to retinoic acid and the closer that the conversions are to the retinoic acid, the more effective they're gonna be. And to be honest, retinol esters are a lot of times like the retinol palmitates. They're just not that effective in anti-aging. They're not gonna produce like amazing results. And if you really wanna spend your money on true anti-aging you know, ingredients, I would skip the retinol esters altogether. Those are gonna be your retinols that you find in a lot of like drugstore products. They're just super, super gentle, super mild, and they just really don't produce results. So I would kind of skip over the retinol esters. So then we come to retinol. Now this is pretty much a very well-known term. So retinol is two conversions away from retinoic acid. So you have your retinol esters, remember they turn into retinol, and then you have your retinol, and that turns into a retinaldehyde, retinaldehyde turns into retinoic acid. But retinol is a very widely known term. So retinol is amazing for your skin. There are so many products products that have a great potency of retinol, again, medical grade we're talking about here, because it's the formulations that matter. So just because it's two conversions away, it's all about formulation and it's all about the potency of the retinol. You can have a potent retinol product that is just as effective and just as potent as retinoic acid slash retin-A. And I'm gonna share with you my absolute favorite products with the retinol. One of them is the Truth Treatments, the retinol, 5%. Now again, it's all about the potency and the formulation. This retinol is a 5% retinol. And the reason he made it so potent is because it actually transfers to the exact same amount as your Retin-A point 0.5%. It is that potent and that effective. And the reason I love this so much is there are no fillers. There's no ingredients in here that your skin cannot absolutely absorb and use. There's also vitamin C in here and vitamin C is amazing with retinol. It's so effective. Now I will say that if you're using a retin-A, 
The thing that I don't love about Retin-A is the fact that you cannot mix that with really any other ingredients. You can't mix it with glycolic acid. You don't want to mix it with a vitamin C. It just creates so much irritation to your skin that a product like this is so much more effective because you can combine it with other really amazing active ingredients and it's just going to produce amazing results. So again, it's all about the formulation. It is all about the potency and the truth treatments. The 5% retinol gel is one of my favorite products, something that I've used for years and I love it. So that is a great retinol option that again, rivals any retinoic acid product, you know, Retin-A out there. The Obagi Retinols are again, some of my favorite retinol products out there. There are two different potencies. It's the 0.5%, which is like the medium strength. And then they have a 1.0, which is a very high strength. These again are formulated in such a potent way that I love it. They are amazing. They are very effective. I personally can only use the 0.5 because the one is extremely potent and it will make you peel and it will make you shed off all that dead skin. So I personally have a little bit more sensitive skin, so I stick with the 0.5 when I use the Obagi, but again, amazing, potent retinol. And then Sente is my other favorite retinol. And again, I use these all the time as well. These are so amazing if you have more sensitive skin. The thing that I love about products that are not retinoic acid is the fact that they have come a long way in terms of adding in other ingredients, adding in other amazing active ingredients and just ingredients that are gonna help soothe and calm your skin because vitamin A is an aggressive ingredient. And as you guys know, if you have used retinol, it will completely destroy your skin barrier. So products have come a long way with counteracting that with other ingredients. And Sente does an amazing job so that even if you have super sensitive skin, you can still get that potent vitamin A. They have two different products. They have the BioComplete Serum and then they have the Intensive BioComplete Cream. So the BioComplete Serum is a really lightweight just serum that you can apply every single night if you have sensitive skin. It's a lower you know, potency of a retinol, but it also has such great anti-aging ingredients along with it and also has you know calming and soothing ingredients, hydrating ingredients, all that stuff. So the BioComplete Serum is their least potent retinol. And then they have the Intensive BioComplete Cream. This is very potent. This is going to give you like the biggest bang for your buck if your skin can take it. But again, it has a lot of other ingredients to really counteract any of that dryness or irritation. It also has their anti-aging complexes in here and it's just very amazing. It will firm your skin, it will help to lift your skin. It's amazing. So again, BioComplete Serum is their lower potency retinol and the Intensive BioComplete Cream is their more you know intense retinol. Again, both are amazing for sensitive skin because of the formulation, but still a great potent amount of retinol and I love these. Okay, so we talked about our retinol esters, which are three conversions away in our skin to that retinoic acid. Then we talked about retinols, which are two conversions away. And now we're gonna talk about my absolute favorite, which is retinaldehyde. Retinaldehyde is only one easy conversion away from retinoic acid in your skin, and retinaldehyde is amazing, you guys. I don't know how anyone is not using a retinaldehyde product. It is so amazing. It is so effective. Retinaldehyde has been proven to stimulate just as much elasticity, collagen in your skin as a Retin-A. It has been proven to treat sun damage with no side effects like Retin-A. It will increase your skin thickness and it will also decrease deep lines and wrinkles just as effectively as Retin-A. But here is why I love it so much. And I'm gonna talk about this product in particular because I have been using this for years and if I had to pick like top three skincare products of all time, the Osmosis Vitamin A products have changed my life. My skin completely did a 180 when I found this product. So the Osmosis Vitamin A serums are your retinaldehyde serums. Now, not only are they just as effective as Retin-A, but they are so gentle to your skin. The Osmosis formulations of the retinaldehyde will not just completely destroy your skin barrier at all. Osmosis, as you guys know, is all about, you know, keeping your skin barrier intact because if you have a healthy skin barrier, your skin is gonna look healthy, it's gonna look younger, it's gonna look plump, and you're gonna have that glow to your skin. Osmosis does not want to do anything that is gonna irritate the skin barrier. 
So retinaldehyde, like I said, has been proven just as effective as Retin-A, but this is not going to just completely rip up your skin barrier. It's not gonna make you flake. It's not gonna make you red. It's not gonna make you irritated at all. You can use this twice a day. You can use this morning and night, whereas a Retin-A, you can only use at night. This is not gonna cause sun sensitivity at all. You can also use this up around your eyes. Retin-A, you do not wanna use around your eyes. It will completely irritate the skin around your eyes. The skin around your eyes is so much more thin and delicate and you need to be more gentle and cannot use a harsh ingredient like Retin-A around your eyes. Retinaldehyde, you can. So you are getting such an amazing vitamin A anti-aging ingredient that, you know, really has been proven to stimulate all those anti-aging factors and you can put this around your eyes. Retinaldehyde is also antibacterial, so it is amazing for acne, blemish-prone skin. You can also use the osmosis vitamin A serums while you are pregnant. These do not affect the baby in the slightest, and you can even email Ben Johnson himself. He will tell you that. Since I switched over years ago to the osmosis vitamin A's, my skin just has looked so much healthier, you guys. I am no longer dry and flaky and red and irritated and Retin-A caused my skin so much damage over the years that finding this like years ago, if you guys have been with me for a while, you remember when I found osmosis, this has changed my skin and I love this product. It is incredible, you guys. Um, I have seen such results with their vitamin A serums and just like you're used to, you know, your three different potencies of Retin-A, the osmosis vitamin A's have three different strengths as well. So they have the Calm, which is the lowest strength retin to hide, which if you have rosacea, if you have super sensitive skin, start with your calm and kind of work your way up. Then they have the middle strength, which is correct. And that is going to be amazing if you are new to retinaldehydes or new to retinols or vitamin A in general, but you have more normal skin. Start with the osmosis correct. And then there is the osmosis renew, which is a high level potency of retinaldehyde. And that's the one I've been using for a while. I did years ago start out with calm when I was going through my rosacea sensitive skin. I started with the Calm, used one full bottle, then worked my way up to the Correct, and then I used the Correct for probably like a year. I went through multiple bottles of the Correct, and then I moved up to the Renew, and I've been on the Renew for a while. And I can tell you guys, it's amazing. So I personally have such a love for retinaldehyde. There are so many benefits to using a retinaldehyde versus retinoic acids. So many people to this day think that you have to be using Retin-A to get like the best anti-aging results. But if you guys realize, Retin-A has been around for years. It is so old at this point. The formula has never changed. There's a bunch of fillers in there that don't do anything for your skin. And the thing is with your Retin-A is you are overloading your skin cells with vitamin A. Because you're putting that direct vitamin A onto your skin, your skin cells can only accept so much vitamin A and anything that's left over on your skin is going to cause that irritation to your skin. It's gonna cause that damage to your skin barrier. When you use a retinol, when you use a retinaldehyde, your skin absorbs what it needs to convert. So you're not getting that overload of vitamin A onto your skin. And like I said, Retin-A is such an old product. It's an old formula that nowadays brands like Osmosis, brands like Truth Treatments, brands like Sente, they have developed these amazing formulas that produce the same results, but then they also include other actives and calming ingredients and hydrating ingredients and ingredients to really counteract any of those negative side effects. So truly, like I said, I have not used Retin-A for years and my skin, if you guys remember, has done a complete 180 since finding other alternatives that work better. So those are definitely my personal favorite vitamin A's. Like I said, I use the osmosis every single day. A lot of times I use it twice a day. And I will say though, if you're using the osmosis vitamin A serums, you need to be using the activating mist with it. Osmosis has a delivery system that really requires the activating mist to fully absorb and push the ingredients deep to our skin cells. They're potent too, you guys. It only takes like a half a pump and then mist like a pump of this and massage it all over your skin. You do not need a lot of their vitamin A products because they are so concentrated. Just like a half a pump, mist it in with the activating mist and just massage all over your skin. I use it on my neck, I use it on my chest. It is the best vitamin A product 
of life. So I hope that makes sense. I know that's a lot of information and a lot of conversions and steps that we talked about, but just remember it is retinal esters, three conversions away, retinols, two conversions away, and then your retinaldehydes, which are a direct conversion in your skin. So that's the conversion process in your skin. But again, remember that it all comes down to formulation and potency of the vitamin A's as well. You can have a retinaldehyde product that is not formulated correctly, that is not, you know, as potent, and it's not gonna give you the same results as something that is formulated correctly, and that is going to have that potency that you need in your skin at the same time, which is why, as you know, I only recommend medical grade products. They're gonna give you the best results with the best potency, and your skin is going to thank me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. I will try to answer all your questions. Again, I know this is kind of a confusing topic, so I hope this you know video helped you out. I will list all the products that I mentioned. All my favorite vitamin A's will be down in the description box. So open it up there for links. You can also use my Brianna 20 coupon code on a lot of these. So I'll leave that down below as well. But I think that wraps it up for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out and talking skincare with me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.